What kind of madness and sorcery is this? Super Mario RPG being shown on a Tuesday instead of a Wednesday? Well, that's because the Godfather has two majorly huge parts. One is going to be part 20, and the other one is going to be the finale, and both of which are extremely large due to their content. So it may take me a while to actually render them, let alone get everything done for them edit-wise. So yeah, how about I just get Super Mario RPG out of the way, because this is actually an epic episode. So, with the Jinx build on Mario to prevent instant death, the Quartz Char on Toadstool to prevent instant death, and Mallow, he's gonna need a comeback or two. We... Or actually, I can switch to Gino. We are ready to take down Smithy and finally stop Smithy's game from constantly being reproduced. And let me assure you, Smithy would probably be the one fight that would give me the most trouble. And the worst part is, it's a two-faced fight. Hey! the last star piece. As I've already stated, he attached the last star piece to himself, and the star piece has driven him mad. Already finished your tour of the factory, huh? Alright then, how about a little demonstration? Yo, Smithy! Stop making those things and head up the star piece now! Yeah, it's not right to make commands on Actually, yes, it is right to make commands on people, especially when it causes Armageddon. Anyway... Huh? Really? So you're Mario! Looks like we're gonna have a little dispute over the star. Dispute's an understatement, trust me. Just hand over the star. Just hand it over and get out of my castle! My, my, we're a little touchy today, aren't we? You know, I'm actually growing rather fond of this place. Won't be saying that for long. Please don't make us look go through anymore. Just give us a star now. Hmm, better yet, why don't you give me your stars? Why, then I can easily conquer this world. Let's touch to the reverse psychology head. Then we can get rid of all the wishes and create a world filled with weapons. Well, how he just says that. But that's not gonna happen. You just wanna know why? I'm gonna kick your ass, Smithy. This is the final boss. And let me assure you, the theme for this boss is awesome. Needless to say, you want to attack Smithy and only Smithy. He has two moves, one of which he'll spam more often, which is to, uh, Sledge. And Sledge is like a multi-area of attack, so it's not that bad, as you can see, because of the armor we, got, we have on right now. And now he has Mega Drain as well. Oh yeah, I forgot he has that. But... If we continue focusing on Smithy, everything else will be fine. Don't even worry about Smelter or anyone else he makes. Because they're all going to lose anyway, and besides, they'll come back after a turn. Even though they will use Sword Ring, which actually hurts. Yikes. I'm just going to rough up Smithy a bit. Or use Geno Boost, one of the two. Yeah, Mario, you kind of need it right now. Alright. I was going to heal, you jerk. You did not have to do that. So, group hug for everyone. And I missed the command. Damn it. That's okay, I'm still gonna win this fight. Why? Because he only has 2,000 HP. That's pretty... Oh, underwhelming for a final boss, to say the least. Hell, Culex had 10,000 for 12,000, for God's sakes. 
And the only reason why I would... Oh, yeah, I forgot he could do that, too. That's a pain in the dick move as well. Thank God I used Geno Boost, which pretty much half to the, the attack of what Smithy normally throws out. And he's gonna make another Shy Guy. You know, it's starting to get a little bit too crowded. He's starting to get a few turns. So I might want to put those Meteor Candies to good use. Yeah, that's just too much annoyance here. You mean Rock Candy, sorry. Why do I call them Meteor Candies? Oh, it's the same thing, but still. And as you can see, with Cheeto Boost, the uh, Meteor Candy, I mean the Rock Candy, does 300 to everyone. As a matter of fact, Smithy is done. In the next turn, that is, because he just took 600 damage. But right now, let me heal first, and then lay the smack down on Smithy's ass, because Smelter doesn't really matter anymore. No! Calm down! Your head looks like a geyser! Don't get so worked up! Think of your blood pressure! Wait, that thing got blood? We just built this yesterday! And the foundation's very weak! So stop shaking the floor! How utterly annoying! And he does it anyway! Oh? What the? How in the heck? Uh, did they not just say that the foundation was weak? Oh well. That's what happens when Smithy just gets angry out of... Well, just smash things out of frustration. And, oh crap. Do you see all those heads down there? You're about to see where they come from right about now. I'm burning, seething. Never have I been so wronged. It is time. I will show you my real form. I will show you my true power. I will teach you respect, and I shall have my revenge. Uh-oh. This is where the bullshit happens, ladies and gentlemen. Smithy tends to transform. This is his base head. And basically, his base head only has one attack, the hammer. You can attack the body to prevent him from changing heads, but I recommend not to because it'll revive in two turns. There is basically uh, five heads in total that you need to worry about. First and foremost, he's about to change to one of them right now. The Tank Head! The Tank Head has Magnum. Magnum is instant kill. Hence why I put in the Forge Charm and the Jinx Belt, as you can wholeheartedly see there. But, while he's physically weak, uh, no, while he's physically strong, the Tank Head's magically weak. And it's also weak to fire, so... Waylay him whenever you can with Mario. And just think, look at all the smithy heads down there. His plan was literally to conquer the world with a whole army of smithies. Oh, and, and just for the record, if you're wondering what, uh... I was about to say, if you're wondering what the tank head would do to Toadstool, it'll actually penetrate defenses. So she will be taking more than just one damage. Like, most walkthroughs do not kind of point out. Well, I'm pointing that out right now because it happened to me. And now he's going to change it to... Oh, the wizard head. That's nice. So now he's a dead man. With that, even Toadstool can actually do damage to him. Well, well, he will, however, do one of three moves in this form. He will use... Uh, oh, god damn. He used him with, se with 620. He's gonna be dead soon. Um, he will hit it from either the physical attack or arrow rain, spear rain, or sword rain. 
Either way, the spear rain hurts more than the arrow or sword rain. Oh, and if I haven't mentioned, Smithy's HP is 8,000. He has two other heads, by the way, in case you're wondering. He has the oven head, which is probably the most annoying of the heads, which is why I wanted to make this dedicated to one port, to one part, because chances are if he does show that head off, which I hope he doesn't, he will be nigh invincible except to magic, but he will heal it all in the next turn. Which is rather freaking annoying. But the main villain, the main threat to this whole entire fight is him using the ever-deadly treasure chest head. God forbid if he uses that. And what do you know? I was about to mention that, too. The treasure chest head. It randomizes. It goes from refilling his health, refilling his flower points, giving you coins, or launching a devastating move that will instantly kill your entire party. And sure enough, there it is, right there. And he missed. Also, he can launch Fear Roulette as well. So yeah, that is pretty much Smithy in a nutshell. I think he's about to die in a few minutes. Oh, he's gone back to the tank head. You dick. Of course you would. Why wouldn't you? Because you love to dick over RD men. At least you're not in your oven head. I gotta mention, though, this theme that I'm listening to for the final boss is also tight. I love the music of this game, if I haven't already stressed it enough. But nonetheless, he is just about dead. I mean, after that 600 damage Mario hit him with, he's as good as dead. And Mario's gonna lay the final blow. Or I thought he would. Damn. Well, if Mallow was here, I'd be psychopath. Each head has a different saying, so yeah. That would be a, a, a comforting thing to know. And some of his heads even tell him, tell you the weakness to Smithy. Yes. That's actually, I mean, this guy is sort of hard, but he sort of tells you his weakness, which is rather insane. So let's use Gino Goose and hopefully I don't get spammed with any more attacks anymore. I mean, that's just mean. Oh wait, I think it ends right about now, because... Alright, you are starting to get on my nerves. Die already! Uh, I don't think he's dead. But he will be! And... Ah, oh, damn it, I thought he was dead. Uh, should I use rock candy, ice bomb? Yeah, you know what? Screw it. Maple syrup. Why not? I, I kind of need it right about now. Yes, keep spamming that. Don't spam Magnum, by the way, because that's a really annoying move. Oh, wait. I killed him. Cool. My body, my head are burning. It's not possible. I don't believe it! I'm finished! Done for! Oh, no! And that is the end of Smitty. I am really surprised that I survived that. Well, I was doing really well in the fight anyway. Come on, Mario. Send the last one way high up. And this will be the last time we hear this theme. Cause Smithy is literally no more. That would be really messed up if he ever came back in a Mario game. So, without further ado, the seventh star is ours. And with that, Star Road is back 
to normal. Alrighty then. Let's see the results of all of our hard work. As a matter of fact, they should be twinkling right about. Actually, yes, they are. I hope they're not slowing down. Oh, yeah, it is suffering slowdown. And with that, Gino is done. The Star Road is back to normal, and Gino no longer has to be in the doll anymore. So instead of being called Gino, he's now being called Beep, or Fuck, or Damn, or Hell, whatever you want to call him. So, we get to sit back and watch an enjoyable ending, because all of our hard work has finally paid off. And to be perfectly honest with you, I honest to God thought he was going to use his oven head. Jeez. Oh, and there was another reason why this part would take a little bit long, because of the credits. This is kind of hilarious in a way. Everybody is like cheering because Gino's going back home. Even though we may never see him again in another game. Unless somebody votes for him in Smash 4. Vote for Gino in Smash 4. Yes, you will vote for Gino in Smash 4. I I'm trying to use the Jedi mind trick. Is it working? Anyway. That was one hell of an adventure, and needless to say, I honestly thought my emulator would crap out on me. And surprise, surprise, the only top thing that crapped out on me was the controller, and it was only for a small bit. Nonetheless, Exor is gone, that dimension is closed, Smithy is dead, Bowser has his castle back, and Mushroom Kingdom is saved. Only for Bowser to kidnap Princess Toadstool in the actual sequel, sequel Paper Mario. Yeah. Oh, it'll be a while before I play that game, I promise you that. Because I gotta get it first. But here's what happened to everyone. Mallow is back on his throne after Valentina throw him off of Nimbus Land. No, seriously, I think she deserved a little bit worse than a beatdown. So... Let's see what's happening in the Green Star. Bowser's repairing his castle by himself. I guess he didn't want- Oh, that shy guy's in his clown car! Awesome. <laughs> that is so awesome. Anyway, let's see what's in the Orange Star. Jonathan Jones drinking wine over the sunset. That is badass. And the purple star which I shake my fist to. It's Yoshi and Croco, and Croco tries to cheat! Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Croco is just a dumbass. But hey, he's learned his lesson, he's reformed, even though he still cheats. And what's next? Todovsky! He's learning a new symphony for all of the toads, and Frog Fuchsius is there. As is a student. And a red star. I also shake my fist at that star because of the Axum Rangers. Anyway. <laughs> so, Booster! About that marriage thing! Yeah, I, I find this kind of ironic, actually. And Dodo's like, I'm getting paid enough for this shit. <laughs> and with that, the yellow star. We soon find out what happens with Toadstool and Mario as they live 
happily ever after until Bowser kidnaps her again. You, you know it's coming. It, it's happened like almost every game except for a few games. And everybody's wondering where Luigi was? I mean, yeah. He made a wish that he'd be the best plumber ever, but he's also the leader of the end credits parade. Not the first time, and it certainly won't be the last. So my final thoughts for this game. The, mem the moment my friend introduced me to this game, I loved it. Granted, there were some parts that ticked me off, and there was other parts I couldn't help but laugh. When I finally beat this game, it was really like the happiest day of my life, cause, let's face it, there were some challenges that you may have to step away from the game from actually take a breather and concentrate. Super Mario RPG sometimes have that, but at the same time, it doesn't. It, I mean, it sounds contradictory, but listen to what I'm trying to say. I mean, yes, there are some challenges in Super Mario RPG that you're gonna have to try and try again, but eventually you'll get it once you learn the patterns and once you learn exactly what they're up, like what your enemy's up to. And Croco, God damn it, Croco! Have you not learned your lesson? He just stole something from, uh, Bowser's castle. This parade is so damn hilarious. And the messed up part is, they use it again in Paper Mario. So, yeah, an after credits parade, like, for the RPG games, all started with this game. I don't think that, uh, Thousand Year Door has that, but if it did, it would be rather freaking hilarious. Meanwhile, Booster is going to do something mischievous. He's going to take Bowser's clown car, <laughs> which is hilarious. <laughs> Bowser just keep getting screwed with by everybody in this game. I mean, this is like the first game that ever showed personalities of Toadstool and Bowser, aside from Bowser constantly kidnapping Toadstool and, uh... Peach waiting to be rescued. Peach has a ditzy personality, and Bowser, he... How should I put it? He has his moments. I mean, once he kidnaps the princess, he doesn't know what to do with them, <laughs> and Smithy just went there and smacked his allies. And wait, is it a bandage on Blade's eye? It is! Holy crap! Oh, man. This is by far, like, the funniest part of that whole entire credit scene. And let me be honest with you, with all of the music and all of the uh, action, whether it's slow pace or fast pace, hey, I still enjoyed the game. And if there is any, like, bad thing I can say about the game, it does drag when you're trying to get to the fourth star. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you. The fourth star was a pain in the ass as far as for, uh, like, pace goes. I mean, Nimbus Land was also pain- oh, leading up to Nimbus Land and the sixth star, which was a barrel of volcano, was kind of a slowdown of pace there. It was a slowdown of pace, but it kind of picked up right when you get the star. Star just kind of dragged it down, but all I can say is everything else was at its perfect pace, and that's why I love this game, and that's why this game will be one of our greatest games in history. Oh, and in case you're wondering, I only bought one batch of fireworks, so 
you'll get to see what the result of that. And if I would have bought more, I would have actually had different pictures from fireworks being shown. But unfortunately, I did not. Why? Because I only needed that one batch for Culex. And that fireworks display should happen right about now, actually. So, yes, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you all for joining me for such a wonderful game, one of my favorite Mario games in all of the Mario games, basically. That may not sound like it doesn't make sense, but hey. I'm just saying, this is one of my favorite games of all time. In as far as for Mario games are concerned. And I thank you all for your patience. And the Godfather will continue on Wednesday and Thursday. And it will be the well, and Friday too, because there's an extra video for the Godfather, and it will end that series that week. But nonetheless, thank you all for joining me for Super Mario RPG. I am RVMan985. Oh, and if you've completed Todovsky, you will actually hear the Super Mario 1 theme song if you let it go off a little bit longer. But I'm not, because I've been around. I've been ranting long enough. See you guys next time.